what does he want? Well, he wants to protect Nemo because of what had happened in the past when his children were eaten. So now he only had Nemo left. So his major want was to protect Nemo. But what was that at the expense of? He wasn't allowing Nemo to become the person he wanted to be. He wasn't allowing Nemo to be independent. So that meant that Nemo was going against the grain and really wanted to prove that he could be independent. Let's get it. That's right. Let's see the rights. What's happening people and welcome back to another video. This is your boy CJ Wright and today we are going to be talking about how to understand wants versus needs in written drama. Now, again, you will see my Chelsea t-shirt. It is the same day that you may have seen the previous video. I do bulk record my content. So there will be times where you do see me in the same clothes. Yes, I do have a shower and yes, I do have a bath. I do use them, but I do video on the same day from time to time. So just let you know that because I don't want no smoke in the comments about wearing the same t-shirt I did in the previous video. Just putting that out there. <laughs> so this is a really important topic because I think a lot of times when people get into writing, whether it be for film or stage, whatever it may be, they overlook the fact that the characters need to want something but also they need something and they're two different things. So I always put it like this, your character that you're writing about, your protagonist, the, the main character should have a clear want. So within this play or this film, they need to want something, okay? And the whole point of the story is that they shouldn't get what they want ultimately they should get what they need. So there needs to be clarity on what these two things are. Why is that? Why might you ask? Well, what makes someone's journey interesting? It's not interesting to hear about someone who woke up in the morning, won the lottery, and then they bought everything they wanted. What would be more interesting is if someone woke up in the morning, they realized they won the lottery, which is what they wanted, but then, they lost the lottery ticket and then they couldn't buy anything that they wanted, but then they realized they still had enough money to provide for their family. And that, that's, I mean, that's a very <laughs> kind of vague storyline, I guess, but there's a story there. Whereas if the person gets everything they want and they're just majorly successful and they've been through no trials and tribulations, it's a very, very boring story in reality and those aren't the kinds of stories that people find interesting yes there are a few films out there that may have a narrative like that where the person just gets what they want but the majority of stories the reason why we find them interesting to read or watch is because we see this character going on that journey of discovery and not getting everything that they want but then at the end usually they'll get what they'd need. So I wanna speak a little bit about my play Constructed, which was on at the Birmingham Rep a few months ago. Now, some of you may have watched it. There will be a digital capture, which will be available online at Substage in the next few weeks. I will post that in the description once it has been published for those who may be watching this video at a later stage. So in a nutshell, the character Rod in the play he wanted to be successful. Rod, he wanted his manager to respect him. He wanted his peers, his company to respect him because he worked on the construction site for many, many years. And he felt like he was entitled to being a site manager. Now that's what he wanted. He had the opportunity to go on a course which would have helped his case to become a site manager. But because of his stubbornness and pride, he didn't get what he wanted. But what did he need? What he needed was to actually 
be able to provide for his family and be able to have a job and a regular stable income. That's what he needed in this whole piece. But because of his stubbornness, as I say, and his pride, he went on this whole convey about lost friends, lost trust and motivation to go to work and was having problems at home all because he didn't just do what he should have done, which was the course so that he could have become site manager. He didn't feel like he needed to do the course in the first place. So what Rod needs ultimately is his friend Cal, who he's known for many, many years. He needs to recognize his own stubbornness and the fact that he was getting in his own way. And what he needed really, as I mentioned, was to be able to have a job and be content in who he is and what he's achieved. Another great example of strong wants and needs is Finding Nemo. Now, for those of you who are interested in writing, I would advise that you go and watch that film because the, the narrative arc in that film is amazing. And I do go back and watch it from time to time because I just think it's a very, very cleverly structured film. But the reason it's so gripping is because you know exactly what the characters want and what they need. So if we take the character Marlon, who is Nemo's dad, what does he want? Well, he wants to protect Nemo because of what had happened in the past when his children were eaten by the, I don't know what it was, I think it was a larger fish. So now he only had Nemo left. So his major want was to protect Nemo. But what was that at the expense of? He wasn't allowing Nemo to become the person he wanted to be. He wasn't allowing Nemo to be independent. So that meant that Nemo was going against the grain and really wanted to prove that he could be independent. So then ultimately what happens is Nemo pushes, pushes and pushes and then puts himself in a situation where he is captured by the fishing rod. So then the whole story is about Marlon having to understand how to let go of Nemo, but what he needed, obviously he needed to get Nemo back, but he also needed to understand that actually if he continued on in the same way, he would push Nemo away. So he had to learn how to overcome his own insecurities and become a better father ultimately. So that's what he needed. It might not have been what he wanted to do initially. What he wants to do is protect Nemo at all costs. But what he needs to do is actually allow Nemo to have a little bit of leeway. Obviously there's this whole convey about and there's a lot, there's, there's many different wants and needs that happened throughout the journey of the film because it's so excellently written. And obviously you've got Dory and the other characters also who have their own wants and needs throughout as well. So a cleverly written piece will have different characters with wants and needs that actually complement the story. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please do drop it in the comments below. And please do hit the like and subscribe button so that I can continue to create more content like this. Until next time, peace and love. Take care.